you've been to one of my talks before, you know I like to talk about Larry Bird and his mastery of the fundamentals. I believe that all furniture retailers could be doing 20% more business with the exact opportunities they already have if they focus on practicing the fundamentals. I thought I would bring back an idea for you that you might think is basic until you ask your average salesperson on the floor. I guarantee that if you ask Jim, hey Jim, can you run me through feature, attribute, benefit, and tie down for me and then give me a good example of how you use that daily during your presentations? You're gonna get met with a blank stare of horror. So when that happens, you'll know that you have some work to do on the fundamentals. Don't get upset, get busy. Think of all the potential you have to close more sales with some consistent training. Uh, and if you forgot these, well, then this would be good for everyone. Uh, as Zig Ziglar used to say, sales are not lost by a few dollars, but by a few words. So assuming your salespeople are qualifying their prospects to find out what's important to them, they should be using F-A-B-T as the meat of their presentation. Feature, attribute, benefit, tie down. Many salespeople make the mistake of only giving features without delivering the rest of the story. When Jim tells your prospect, this furniture set has English dovetail drawer construction, the prospect will dutifully nod their head as if that means something. Mmm, yes. But let's be honest, it doesn't, right? Not without the rest of the story. So here's the whole story. Mary, you mentioned you'd like to invest in a furniture set that will last a long time. Feature. This set has been constructed to last a lifetime. Let me show you what I mean. Let's start with a drawer construction, as this is what's going to get used day in and day out. You'll see here on the corners of the drawer that each side of the drawer has been carefully integrated with the other side, almost like a jigsaw puzzle. Now this takes a little extra time during the manufacturing process, but what it does, attribute, is join each side of the drawer completely instead of relying on a nail or two to keep the drawers together. So what that means, benefit, this drawer is going to stand up to years of use without losing its shape, which would make it hard to open and close or it would simply fall apart. Now, if you have any stars on your sales team, they might even pull this off, but very few know to tie down each feature with something like this. Here's the tie down. Mary, can you see how this kind of drawer construction is going to last a long time? This is where you wait for the positive response. Or I bet you'd like to have drawers like this in your next furniture set, wouldn't you? wait for the positive response. Without the tie down and the verbal response, like the flight attendant does when you're sitting in the exit row, you haven't actually gained agreement from the prospect that yes, indeed, this furniture is important to them. So when they respond in the affirmative, you have just built value in the product, and now you can move on to the next feature that also satisfies the prospect's stated need of wanting something that will last. So. If your salespeople are still relying on um, Purdy Ain't It as their sales pitch, good news. You can improve sales by 20% without a single extra prospect walking through the door just by focusing on the fundamentals of good sales technique. So I hope that adds some value to your day, gives you an idea for your next sales meeting. Yes, you have my permission to play this video if you'd like before you role play where each person has to give a three feature demo to their buddy, complete with feature, attribute, benefit, and tie down before they switch roles and then the other one takes their turn. If you're not willing to practice this with a colleague, then you're not going to do it when it counts with live prospects. So if you like that, make sure you open my next email where I'll give you another great reminder. Until then, thanks for listening. This is Ken Mayhar with Email Broadcast where we help you win more business.